House of Pain on 105.7 The Point. You are live with Liv, and I am backstage at the Hollywood Casino Amphitheater with Breaking Benjamin, getting all of our swears out uh, so we don't do that on the air right now. Gentlemen, how are we? We're good. Great. Great. It's good to be good. here. Good. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. And I'm going to start off by saying something I said to Brent Smith a couple years ago, a couple days ago of Shinedown. I'm a fan before, you know, being a DJ and having a cool job. And I'm sure you guys can relate to that, too, that you're a fan first with so many of these acts. What does it mean for you guys to be out on the road with Bush and Alice in Chains? Well, we grew up with them, you yeah. know, so it's like surreal, you know. Um, they go back before our musical endeavors mm -hmm. into our real life as, sure. you know, whatever you want to call that. So it's really surreal to be talking to them and hanging with them and they know who we are like yeah. as people like, oh, hey, Ben or hey, Jason. We're like, oh, my God. You know, yeah, it's, it's still getting used to it after. Two yeah, months. And it's been like two months. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there, there's a moment that of breakdown, I would think, between like being a fan and they seem so distant and now they're a peer. And I think that probably takes I a while to say digest. I, that's your word. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it took some liberty with that word, but uh, <laughs> closer yeah. than maybe the the average. It's it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet and respect. We're getting all the fans set up here because it is it's toasty. It is hot yeah, as. Good thing it's not hot today. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Because that fine. would be uncomfortable. It's fine. You can, you can still get your tickets. It'll cool down when the sun goes yes, down. True, true. Hot sun and, and no swearing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where's all the fun Why in that? Why am I here? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm no, just kidding. I will say, again, as a fan, some of my favorite concert experiences have been at Breaking Benjamin shows. Yay. And I saw you guys last winter for your Unplugged tour. And that was cool as hell to have such an intimate experience with you guys after seeing you guys on such a huge stage like this. So what is that like from you guys to go from a tiny venue to a big venue? Like, what's the pros and cons of each? I think every band will say the same thing, you know? It's uh, more intimate, like mm -hmm. you said. And then this is just like, who wouldn't want this? You know, so it's totally different animals, but they yeah. both have their allure. And we like to do it all. And yeah. we like to play acoustic because it's like bare bones and, and uh, what do you call it? Uh, it, it's I mean, it's more raw. stripped down. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's it really something is. we enjoy doing. We get to kind of be ourselves a little bit more. There's not as much of the pressures with productions and time frames and budgets. and. Yeah, it's more like, like hanging out. It really, that's yeah. how it felt as somebody that was at a show. I remember, I think, Ben, you were like, I got to take a piss. You walked off stage, and then you guys <laughs> just yep. busted into Hunger Strike. When that's you got to go, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. But it's not as easy to do that yeah. when you have, you know, 15,000 people. I still would do that. <laughs> <laughs> so if Ben disappears from stage, uh, you'll know. I ha you know I have no. Yeah, yeah. you know I'm. I, you've seen us enough to know that I have no filter. It's, I just keep it real. If I got a piss, I, hey guys, I'll be back. I take a dump. <laughs> <laughs> Same time. I love that brutal yeah. honesty. Another thing I love about you guys. That, that hasn't I've, happened yet. Thank God. Yeah, take to, tonight's a new night, man. <laughs> yeah, to me. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, another thing that I really love that I've seen you guys do and a handful of other bands do is, and I know you don't do this at every show, so if you're coming tonight, do not expect this, is halfway through the show, you'll just start bringing kids on stage. Now, what what goes into that? Why why is that something you guys do? Well, I've been doing it lately towards the end of this one because I've been seeing kids, like, singing every single word yeah. and just, like, having the greatest time. And I think that they would, if I think that they would like to, because some people, and I get it, some mm -hmm. people are, some kids are like, oh, no, 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 because they're sure. scared. But I can tell the ones that are super, like, into it and want to, and those are the ones that I like to, you know, if they want to, they can. That's amazing. Yeah. And that's something you'll remember forever. Exactly. And, it, and they're already singing every word. They're already, like, with us, you know, so might as well be with us. Yeah. That's incredible. And it's a spontaneous thing. It's not something that... Yeah, I don't really plan it anymore. <laughs> it's all, I, I didn't really plan it before. It just, the mood strikes me. Sure. I just, yeah, every show is a mood feeling thing. I don't like to be a machine of just like sure. repeating the same thing all the time. Sure, that's one thing you get with a Breaking Benjamin show. You get authenticity. Definitely. Good feeling. or bad. Thank you. Good or bad. <laughs> hey, you got to take the good with the bad. Yep. Now, looking forward, uh, plans for the future, uh, new music in the works, anything that you can tell me? We're always working. Okay. So it's not like we're not working. Okay. We're always working. Okay. Uh, but there's a lot of moving pieces too. I, I yeah, think it's I safe have, to say. I have a, we get asked this question a lot and yeah. I, have a, I have my answer to this one down which is, 
we're always like as individuals writing a lot of music. Okay. And, there, and we do have a lot of songs. Whether any of those make it onto <laughs> what becomes the next album, we don't know. So sure. either we have the entire album already written or we have zero songs written, one or the other. <laughs> yeah. I love that. And That's a good way any to put collaborations it. plan? I know you guys have a really incredible history of teaming up, especially with female artists. Uh, you had that with Diamante doing Iris, Lacey, Valora, any chick collabs coming up? Well, those are not really, I, um, those aren't really like, that's what we're aiming for. Sure. It just happens, you know, sure. and me and Lacey and Jay, we all know Lacey, like a sis, she's like our sister, you know? <laughs> so that's like, a, that's something that's been years and years and years, mm. but I wouldn't say that I couldn't, I couldn't say yes or no, because like I said, it's not like female specific. Sure, it just sure. happens that way. Yeah, I love that. And you guys, you have such a great sound contrasting with a female voice. So I think that's something that, that always sounds good when you guys put it out. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, I guys. I think. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Thank you guys so much for taking the time. Super excited to see you guys here tonight. Hollywood Casino Amphitheater. You got Breaking Benjamin. You got Bush. You got Alice in Chains. And you got Plush. So get out here. Get your tickets. Walk right up. And uh, again, guys, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it's great it. to be Thank back. You. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks. Love you.